can't do anything. I don't think I can manage it. I can't do anything. I can't manage it. I can't manage it. The City of Lost Children is the poisoned apple of adventure gaming. I used to cover this game despite the negative reception it received upon release. The presentation is exceptional with detailed pre-rendered backdrops and the small details in animation like the way the protagonist's dress moves when she cluelessly bumps into every bit of scenery demonstrates that at least some members of the development team did their job. You've got to appreciate the artwork on the PC box too. Unfortunately, they changed this for the PlayStation version. The City of Lost Children is a French game based on a French film which neither myself or the French developers have seen. The opening pre-rendered cut scene shows a child being abducted. Run, Donnelly! Hide! I think you'd better leave him alone! Wait, wait, kid. I'm not doing you any harm. Who is he? Why is he being taken? Not a clue. Our protagonist is a little girl called Miette, who is being instructed to steal from the cashier's hut by these twins. Listen, make yourself scarce, kid, or you're going straight in the cellar. I don't think these two have had their annual safeguarding training. We have a quest at least, but the titular city is a huge place. Is this the cashier's hut? There's very little dialogue to give you any hints where to go. You can talk to characters and get two, maybe three lines, but they often just tell you to get lost. I don't want you hanging around here, you get me sat. So we wander and wander and wander. You need to find adventure items in order to solve illogical puzzles, but the items are hidden and only visible when you accidentally blunder over them. Scouring the entire environment is tedious and obnoxious. Even if the environment is well rendered and beautifully designed. Most of these items in the background are not interactable, not helped by the controls, which may well be the worst of any game. Someone actually programmed me yet to recoil every time you walk into a wall or an object. She's moving slower than a dead sloth, but acts like she's running at full speed. The City of One Lost Child is actually comparable to Resident Evil, which by today's standards has an antiquated control method. You could argue it's more realistic to snag your pinafore on a crate every five minutes because life is kind of like that, but it's not fun. I mentioned before that the puzzles are illogical, so even if you do find all the inventory items, you won't know what to do with them. The puzzles are nonsensical. There is an art to adventure game puzzles. Without combat or gameplay to speak of, the puzzles are the barrier to progress. Too logical and the puzzles are unsatisfying but go too far in the other direction and you'll just need a walkthrough which is equally unsatisfying. Broken Sword is peerless of balancing its puzzle design. Firstly, it has lots and lots of interesting characters, dialogue and flavour text to provide both clues and to some extent maintain your interest in between progression. Sometimes just talking to someone can be the answer. To get into this room in Broken Sword, you first speak to the guard who gives you a verbal clue that he puts his gloves on when it's cold. You ask to use the bathroom and imprint the key onto a bar of soap. You then use the plaster to make a key. George tells you it doesn't look right, so you need to call Nico so she can distract the painter so you can dip it in the paint pot. It feels like plaster of Paris, which it is, so you turn down the heat so the guard puts his gloves on. Swap the keys and give them back to him and use Nico to get him out of the room again. Hey presto, you're in. Use key and door is the puzzle, but you have to pay close attention to the environment and its carefully placed items in interactables to solve this puzzle. The City of Wasted Time has similar distract the guard puzzles, but you have to scour the entire island to find a sponge, hidden out of sight somewhere. Find a bar and turn off the lighthouse so you can distract the guard. You have to hide first, but don't dare ask Miette to bend down unless you're standing in exactly the right coordinate where she won't snag her dress. I don't think I'll bend down here. I had to check a walkthrough to check I was even doing the right thing. I guess they didn't want the character model to look like it was overlapping any background objects. Realism over playability in a game where we use a sponge on a cash register to stop a cabinet from conducting electricity. Yes, that's the puzzle. Backtracking and trial and error. Even walkthroughs struggle to explain where these items are. The reward for entering the door in Broken Sword, a plot development and a feeling that you're one step closer to uncovering a mystery. The reward for robbing the cashier's hut another incomprehensible thief quest. The only real plot development in the city that never sleeps is this optional cutscene where we see the children being taken on board a boat. They could be going on a school trip for all I know. If it wasn't for this man talking in his sleep, we wouldn't have any idea what was going on. Cranking his terrible experiments. How could I create such a monster? Oh God, what have I done? Kidnapping children and ferrying them to this ugly place. 
this foul ivory, just so he can use them as guinea pigs. It's jealousy. He's never been able to dream. Never. Stop him. Stop him stealing the dreams of these children. He's a madman. A dangerous madman. Miette teams up with some guy called The One for some reason and she straight up murders a guy. <laughs> no, don't bite me. It's me, your master. Oh. They escape and nobody cares. Nothing has been established to raise these stakes and we've been doing fetch quests all game. Right, I just don't understand the game at all. It looks great, it sounds great, it plays terribly. Maybe I should watch the film it's based on. I bought a copy on eBay and it kind of looks good. The box art is... Nah, uh, no, not this time. Okay, give me a sec, I'll be back. Just put this in the old DVD player. Ooh, Ron Perlman. Ooh. Yeah, it's 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 French. <clears throat> I don't think I'll bend down here. 